What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of an object in Final Cut Pro. And it's really, really, really easy to do. Let's get into it. Changing a specific color in Final Cut Pro can be done without needing to buy any third-party plugins. You can do it with the built-in Hue Saturation Curves plugin. I've got a clip here of Donna and I in Venice when we were still able to travel before COVID and I want to change the color of my jacket. All I need to do is head on over to the color inspector window and click on this drop down arrow over here. There are a bunch of different color grading tools here but the one you'll want to use is the hue saturation curves effect. You can also find it in your effects panel under color and you can drag and drop that onto your clip. Now let's select the color that we want to change and you can do that over here in the hue versus hue section. Select the color picker and click and drag across the color you want to change, making sure that you select a range of tones. I've got some lighter blue and some darker blue in this selection. If you look over here at your hue saturation curves effect, you'll see three control points have been created on this graph. The one in the middle with the line running through it is your selected color and the other two points are your hue limit points. If you drag the middle control point up and down, notice how the color changes. For the sake of this tutorial, let's make it green. You'll see that Donna's beanie and the clothes these people are wearing in the background are also changing to green. But don't worry, we'll come back and fix that in a bit. You can also fine tune the range of colors that change by adding another point by simply clicking on the graph. My jacket looks a little too saturated, but we can adjust the saturation of the jacket by selecting the color picker on the hue versus saturation section and making a similar selection to what we did before. I'll click and drag here and notice how my control points are in a very similar position on this graph. The middle point or the selected color is not green, but blue, because technically that's still the color we're adjusting. It's just the result that's green. I can grab this middle point and drag it up to saturate it more or down to desaturate it. I want to desaturate it a little bit, so bringing it down to about here looks a bit more natural. I can also brighten or darken the jacket by selecting the color picker on the hue versus luma section and making another selection on the jacket like this. I'll lighten up the jacket by lifting the middle control point just a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. If I switch this effect on and off, you can see how it looks, and I think it's a pretty natural looking change in color. Now we need to fix the change in color of Donna's beanie and of the people behind us. So I want to isolate that change in color to just my jacket. There are two ways to do this, and they pretty much do the same thing, but I'll show you both. The first way is to add a shape mask by clicking on this icon over here, or on the drop down arrow over here. You can adjust the size and shape of the mask to cover the area where the color changes. If your subject moves around the frame, you can also keyframe that shape mask to follow the movement. In this case, I don't really need to keyframe anything. But this brings me to my second way of doing it, and the way I prefer to do it, because I feel like I have more control, and that is to duplicate the layer. You can do that by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging the layer up on top of the original. On the bottom layer, you'll need to remove the hue saturation curves effect by selecting the clip, coming over to the inspector window and deleting it from there, or you can use the shortcut Command Shift X to remove attributes making sure that only the hue saturation curves effect is selected and clicking remove. On the top clip, add the draw mask effect, which you can find in your effects panel by simply searching for the draw mask. Drag and drop that onto the clip and I'll go over to the viewer window and just reduce the size slightly so that I can see some negative space outside the frame here. I'll click to add a few points and make a selection. I don't have to be super accurate in this example, but the great thing about this method is that I can be way more accurate if I need to, which is why I always use this draw mask effect. You can obviously also keyframe these control points if your subject moves around the frame, and then I always feather it out a little bit so that there are no hard edges. And if I do an AB comparison here, you can see how the color of my jacket changes, but the rest of the blue colors stay the same. This is before and after. Let's go over a few other creative things you can do with this effect now that you know how to change a specific color in Final Cut Pro. You can jump cut between colors like I did in the intro for this video, but you can also transition between colors by repeating the steps from before and having multiple different colors on top of each other. I've got the original blue here, a green layer, a red layer, and a purple one to match Donna's jacket. That's cute. Let's just say we want to change colors gradually every two seconds. I can click on the beginning of this clip and hit plus two for seconds and zero zero for frames. Hit return and that will move the cut two seconds forward on my timeline. I'll do the same on the next clip, but this time I'll move four seconds ahead by hitting plus four zero zero and return. And again on this last one, plus six zero zero and return. I'll click on the beginning of the clip again and hit command T to create a cross dissolve transition. And again for the other two clips, just like that. If I play that back, you'll see how it transitions from one color to the other. 
And if you prefer keyframing, you can also keyframe the mix on the hue saturation curves plugin from 0 to 100, and it'll do the same thing. Changing the color of a specific object is one useful way to use this plugin, but I also find it useful when color grading if you want to change the mood of a shot. Let me give you an example. I shot this shot on the ground in a forest, and let's say I want to enhance the greens of the forest. I could add my hue saturation curves plugin here, make a color selection and adjust it so that the foliage appears more green. I can adjust the saturation as well and the brightness until I get it looking natural. Here's what it looked like before and after. But what if we wanted to create more of an autumn or fall vibe? No problem. I'll reset the saturation and luma values and adjust the hue until it looks a little more orange. I might also adjust the brightness here just to make it a little bit darker, but I'm happy with the saturation. This is before and after. And there you have it, changing colors in Final Cut Pro. It's a really easy effect to pull off and a cool trick to have up your sleeve. I'm planning on doing another video on color grading tips, so if there's anything specific that you'd like me to cover in that video, please let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.